Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to level up your trading workflow on TradingView, especially when it comes to keeping track of all the NSE futures and options stocks, you're in the right place. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step method to import the entire F and O stocks list into your TradingView watch list. By the end of this video, you'll have a neatly organized list of F and O stocks ready to monitor, so you can react faster and make smarter trading decisions. Alright, let's dive straight in. The very first thing you'll want to do is head over to the screener icon. You'll find this on the right-hand side of your TradingView interface, usually nestled among those handy little tool icons. Now, sometimes it's easy to overlook this spot if you're focusing on your charts, but trust me, this screener is your gateway to all sorts of stock sorting power. Go ahead and give that icon a click. Once you're in, you'll see several options pop up. For our purpose today, select Stock Screener. What this does is open up a wide-ranging list of stocks you can filter and manage. Now, because we're interested specifically in the Indian futures and options segment, the NSE F and O, you'll need to make a quick change in the market settings. There's typically a drop-down menu or a spot labeled market. Switch this to India. This step is crucial because by default, the screener might be set to the US or global. If you skip this and stay in the wrong market, you'll end up with an irrelevant stock list, which for F and O trading is no help at all. With the market now set to India, take a look at the index options. Among these, you'll see a category that refers to all F and O, often grouped conveniently for traders who want to focus solely on futures and options. Click this index, and TradingView will instantly filter in all stocks currently listed in the F and O segment. Think of this like going from all the books in a library down to the thriller section. You're narrowing things to exactly what matters for your trading strategy. Now here comes a critical but super easy part, selecting all the filtered symbols. You can either use the Select All checkbox or, depending on your interface, select the top item and shift-click to highlight the whole list. If this is your first time, don't worry if it feels a little strange. TradingView does a pretty good job of making bulk selections intuitive. Take a moment and double-check that you really have all the F and O symbols selected. Sometimes a stray scroll can leave one or two unchecked. Once every symbol is highlighted, right-click anywhere on the list, you'll see a menu pop up. Choose Add Selected to Watch List. This action tells TradingView to create a personalized watch list based on your entire F and O selection, rather than just adding one stock at a time, hugely efficient and definitely a game changer if you follow dozens or even hundreds of F and O symbols. At this point, TradingView will prompt you to either add these stocks to an existing watch list or create a new one. For clarity and easy access, I recommend creating a new watch list specifically for your F and O stocks. Go ahead and name it F and O India or something similar, whatever helps you instantly recognize it later. Don't sweat the name too much, you can always rename it in the future, and that's it. Now if you glance at your watch list sidebar, you'll see every single NSE F and O stock neatly listed and ready for you to track. Whether you're scanning for intraday moves or building longer-term strategies, having this organized list can save tons of time and keeps you one step ahead. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, it really helps out. If you run into any snags during the process or have questions about TradingView features, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. And of course, if you're keen for more trading tips and tutorials, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.